to get back in the ball game. They have decided that whoever wins the tip, and in this case Toronto, they are going to let the shot clock run out because of the number 24 to honor Kobe Bryant. Fitting. Appropriate. As Fred Van Vliet holding on to it and the crowd recognizing what this means. Sean, how did these guys play? I don't know. You tell me. Uh, it would be tough for me in this situation. We've been told the NBA is planning or has canceled some of the games this evening. And DeJounte Murray will do the same. The 24-second shot clock, of course, Kobe Bryant. Number 24. Hawks in red, Wizards in blue. And now, Trey is going to hang out of the basketball. And in honor of number eight, he is going to take an eight-second backcourt violation. And now the Wizards, to show their honor and appreciation, Washington is going to inbound the basketball, and they will take a 24-second violation. So the two numbers that Kobe Bryant wore in his career, number eight and number 24, being honored. Players and a generation of basketball fans. Gibson and Allen jump it up. And this has been happening all around the league. Every team first possession taking a 24 second shot clock violation as an homage to Kobe Bryant, number 24. And the Knicks will do the same. I just don't have a lot to say. I, uh, the news is just devastating to everybody uh, who knew him, known him a long time. And, uh, you know, he, he just, he, mean, he means a lot to me, obviously. Um, you know, he was such a great opponent, you know. Um, it's what you want in sports. Um, he had that, that DNA that, uh, that very few athletes can ever have, you know, the, the Tiger Woods and the, the Michael Jordans, you know. Um, it's funny. I, uh, I was getting to know him more since he retired, you know. Um, playoff games so the Grizzlies win the tap and the Grizzlies are going to take a 24 second shot clock violation in honor of Kobe Bryant and the fans here appreciate it and rise to their feet
understanding is that the Suns will take an eight second backcourt violation. First 24 and 8 for two numbers. Kobe Bryant War is a member of the Los Angeles Lakers for two decades. We, uh, we get caught up in this world in um, debates and who's the greatest and love to judge people and off the court and on the court decisions. I think a lot of times we forget about who people are. And um, I know for me, I had a defining moment in my life that he, he pushed me in the right direction. And um, but for somebody who's a new father, who has a baby girl, um, you know, I'm not going to say prayers and condolences because I don't even, I don't even know how you capture this moment, man. Um, I know everybody's coming out with their Kobe Bryant story, and that's fine. But um, he is just, uh, he was one of the most special individuals I've ever met. And uh, it wasn't just his on-the-court performance. It was who he wanted to be, how he held himself. And we're all prone to make mistakes. We all live this life. Um... But his innate character, his, um, his being, his spirit uh, was incredible. It was just incredible. And uh, it's rare that I've been around a lot of people in my life. And you know, every time I was around him, if that was through the Players' Tribune, if that was through as a player, if that was through random workouts, there's something so damn uplifting about him. It just made you want to be better in every aspect of your life because that's who he was. And that's the standard of excellence that he held himself to all the time. And um, today's just a really, today's a tough day. Today's a hard day. And I hope that um, everybody at home, you, you give that person next to you, um, whatever thing you have wrong in your life with them, if this might be small or big, let the shit go. Doesn't matter. I know I curse. I'm sorry. It's okay. None of that stuff matters, man. Tribute to Kobe Bryant, as we've seen in San Antonio earlier tonight. These teams, respectively, will take a 24-second violation. And New Orleans, the microphone is yours. Celtics to reciprocate. Reaction now from Kareem Abdul Jabbar. It's very difficult for me to put in words how I feel about the loss of Kobe Bryant. As a young boy, I met him when he was 11 or 12 years old. I was friends with his dad, Joe. We were uh, former uh, adversaries. Joe played for the 76ers, but he was a good friend and uh, someone that I shared a friendship. And it's hard for me to uh, understand now how this is affecting Joe and his wife. So uh, for, to Kobe's family, I, I want to send my most sincere and heartfelt uh, regrets and prayers. 
and my thoughts are with you guys. Kobe was a, an incredible family man. He loved his wife and, and daughters. He was an incredible athlete and a leader in a, in a lot of ways. He inspired a whole generation of young athletes. He was one of the first ones to leave high school and come to the NBA and do so well, dominating the game and becoming one of the best scorers that the Los Angeles Lakers has ever seen. I had the privilege of being there when he scored his 81 point game and it was something that I will always remember as one of the highlights of uh, the things that I have learned and observed in sports. Kobe, my thoughts are with you. Absolutely. Rest in peace, young man. This loss is, it's, it's just hard to comprehend. Go with God. Yeah, the Clippers here tonight, they'll travel to South Florida after the game, Orlando, and face off against the Heat tomorrow night. Landry Shamit walks the ball to the front court. And both teams just standing idly in honor of Kobe Bryant and the crowd beginning to recognize something special is happening on their feet applauding. And the Clippers will take a 24-second violation to start the game. And the public address announcement in honor of Kobe Bryant, a 24-second violation. You know, the magic will follow suit here, David. This is a, a, a fitting tribute, I think. Markel Fultz holding the basketball. And, and uh, oh, Markel held it for, an eight, for seconds. eight seconds. And Kobe wore number eight yeah. early. What a great idea. 24 and 8. What can I say? Mamba out.